including Israelis from the financial grants. One initiative announced on the site is a U.S. grant provided to the Palestinian Association for Cultural Exchange, a Palestinian nonprofit uh, whose official website refers to the West Bank and Eastern Jerusalem as Palestinian areas, even though the territories certainly contain um, historically Jewish biblical areas and are recognized by international law as either disputed or occupied, but not as Palestinian areas. Asked about these funds, or pardon me, these fines on the U.S. website, a spokesman for the U.S. consulate in Jerusalem told WorldNet Daily, the, quote, consulate is an independent mission. We are the U.S. representative to the Palestinian Authority. That statement might be news to the Israeli residents of Jerusalem and the West Bank who use the consulate for visa and citizenship matters. Also, the U.S. consulate in Jerusalem is used by the American citizens in Israel for all sorts of matters. Uh, the consulate spokesperson added the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv is the official representative to the state of Israel. So, we have a consulate in Jerusalem. How about that? After all these years of refusing to put an American consulate in Jerusalem, we finally have an American consulate in Jerusalem for the Palestinians. Only. Even the embassy website, however, maintains an Arabic section, but not a Hebrew one. Also, the website features far more news items pertaining or related to the PA, the Palestinian Authority, and the American programs for the Palestinians than announcements related to Israel. The Obama administration's continued efforts to marginalize Israel are becoming more evident daily, said Mr. Schwartz. The U.S. consulate's efforts demonstrate that those efforts are continuing unabated. Well, I guess we got what we voted for. I don't know what to tell you except that any nation who snubs its nose at Israel is going to suffer the consequences. God said to Abraham, I will bless those that bless you. I will judge those who persecute you. And that's the way it's going to be until Jesus comes and, com and judges the wicked, sets up his kingdom. And by the way, when Jesus sets up his kingdom, listen to this, it will be a Jewish kingdom ruling the world from Jerusalem. Understand that. He will put Israel at the head of the nations. Understand that. No, no, the whole world will not be equal. Israel will be at the head of the nations. Don't forget that. They are, by the way, God's chosen people. I mean, irregardless of us Christians uh, and the rest of the world, no matter who you are or what you believe, God has a chosen people. We are adopted, grafted in. We are children of God through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But I want you to know that Jesus was a Jew. And when he comes, all Israel will be saved, so says the book of Romans. And you know, I happen to believe this blessed book. I don't know exactly what that means. I know that there is none of the name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved other than the name of Jesus. Uh, how all Israel will be saved is up to the Lord. But he did say through the Apostle Paul, who was the apostle to the Gentiles, so says the New Testament, that one day all Israel will be saved. They, the branch that's broken off will be grafted back in. You and I are wild olive branches grafted into that tree. Remember Romans 9, 10, and 11? But Israel, though broken off, is the true branch of that true tree, and it will be grafted back in again. You see, the uh, blindness of Israel as to who Jesus was 
uh, was the, and the downfall of Israel was so that you and I, Gentiles, could be saved. So don't blame God for, for discarding Israel. He has not forever forsaken Israel. God's chosen people still around. And those people over in Israel, they are God's chosen people. Don't forget that. Uh, don't let anybody tell you that the Jews are not Jews. They are. <laughs> and by the way, since the Genome Project was established back uh, nine years ago or so, um, the genetic uh, DNA of the Jewish people have proven beyond any shadow of a doubt that they are who they say they are. The Jews are Jews. The Israelites are Israelites. And we are Gentiles. Europeans, shall we say. Caucasians, whatever you want to call it. The Jews, the DNA have proven who the Jews are. So nobody can say the Jews aren't Jews. I'm J.R. Church. We'll see you again tomorrow with our analysis of the news.